From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, May 26, 2023. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. A Rapid City man charged with first-degree murder and second-degree rape in connection with the death of a Rapid City woman in February of 2021 will represent himself. During a motion hearing Thursday, James Jumping Eagle requested a dismissal of counsel and to be allowed to represent himself in the case. His trial is set to begin in September, and if convicted, he faces a mandatory life sentence. Jumping Eagle is already facing 10 years in federal prison after he was convicted last year of failing to register as a sex offender. With the B-21 coming to Ellsworth Air Force Base, the area's population is expected to grow by as much as 2% per year. That means plans need to be made now for schools, housing, and roads newcomers will use when they get here. South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds was joined this week by Ravi Chaudhary, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force, for a tour of Ellsworth's developments and two charter plans. Rounds says the relationship between the base and the region can help Ellsworth reach its full potential. In national and international news, days from a deadline, President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy are narrowing in on a two-year budget deal that could unlock a vote for lifting the nation's debt ceiling. They're racing for an agreement this weekend. As soon as June 1st, the Treasury says it could run short of funds to pay the nation's bills. A federal default on the national debt would send the economy into chaos. The budget flow isn't the only hang-up. One thorny issue is a Republican demand, opposed by Democrats, for stiffer work requirements on people who receive government aid. Any compromise needs support from both Democrats and Republicans to pass in Congress. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is working to push past an embarrassing beginning to his presidential campaign. The Republican outlined an aggressive travel schedule on Thursday and announced he had raised $8.2 million in 24 hours since entering the race. His team insists they remain well-funded and well-positioned for a long fight ahead. Still, DeSantis faced nagging questions about his rocky rollout during a conservative media tour. The 44-year-old governor formally launched his campaign Wednesday during an online conversation with Twitter CEO Elon Musk, but the audio stream crashed repeatedly. DeSantis' allies privately acknowledged that the situation was an unwelcome distraction. But there is a broad sense that the announcement snafu will have a limited long-term political consequence. A U.S. study suggests 1 in 10 people are getting long COVID after an Omicron infection, a lower estimate than earlier in the pandemic. The National Institutes of Health is studying nearly 10,000 U.S. adults to help better understand why some people suffer debilitating health problems that can last for months or years, even after mild COVID-19. In the Journal of the American Medical Association, researchers identified a dozen key symptoms to help distinguish long COVID. They say doctors shouldn't use the list to diagnose patients. It's only a first step, but it might help future studies. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Mostly cloudy with a stray thunderstorm possible in 79. Low tonight, 57. Memorial Day weekend, expect a chance of afternoon thunderstorms and highs around 80, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, May 26, 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of the Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jaquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.